solid practices uh, this week. It's been really good to have the extra time um, you know, for a game like this. And, um, you know, I think our guys have handled their time wisely. Questions? Do you, do you feel like you're where you need to be on Wednesday of game week? Yeah, I think so. Uh, you know, we just got off the practice field and told the guys I really like where we're at. Uh, you know, their energy, uh, their attention to detail has been very good this week. Coach Red said Sunday that uh, Sammy, he thinks it's the closest Sammy is to be 100% this year. How much do you think maybe that's hampered the offense to this point, being that he hasn't maybe been as close to he was last year? Well, I mean, I guess, you know, after week one, you know, he got a little banged up, and it's just been a process. You know, he's tried to really, you know, fight through and, and, uh, and play. But I think he's getting, you know, more healthier each week. How do you think things will change for him this week, having Duke back out there? Well, I mean, I think uh, – you know, can do nothing but help. You know, obviously having Duke out there being a, a guy that, uh, you know, defenses have to account for and uh, you know, take a little focus off him, I think it always always good. How do you think with Sammy has developed as kind of a guy that can do some more things, intermediate routes, instead of just going Yeah, you know, I think he's improved uh, this year. Uh, you know, like I said, the biggest thing is, that, you know, he's battled through the injury, which has been, been really challenging. But, uh, you know, he's shown some toughness. Probably played some weeks when others probably wouldn't. Can okay, you talk about the team's level of confidence right now? Yeah, I mean, I, I think we're very confident. I mean, you know, I, like I said earlier in the week, I like where we're at. Um, you know, we started off good. We had a tough stretch there, but uh, this is an iron bowl. And, uh, I know our guys are excited to play in it. Guess how has uh, Duke looked back out there in the, in the bowl, right? What's he been able to do? Yeah, he's practiced. Um, you know, he's looked well. What I mean, Duke, even at no 100 percent, well, what does he provide you guys? I and mean, is he just that type of talent, that athlete? That you know, I think so. I mean, you know, he's a big weapon in our offense. And I'm not going to say he's, you know, he'll be 100 percent, but uh, even not 100 percent, he's a big weapon, and uh, he uh, gives us some some options. There were guys who had that ligament injury in the past here. Uh, the one Chris Frost earlier in the year, and obviously D last season. Was Duke's just a little bit more severe at the time, just to be precautionary? Yeah, you know, knees, I mean, knees are all different with different people. And, um, you know, I mean, he's came along and we've tried to rehab it and try to get him as healthy as we could. Could he have feasibly played last week if you were in a situation? Uh, you know, there may be a possibility. Um, I'd say it's possible, but, uh, you know, it was unlikely. Talk about the area settlements and the need for him to have a big game set. Yeah, you know, he's a senior, uh, been around here a long time, and uh, this will be his last Iron Bowl, so, you know, definitely. Uh, I know he'll be ready, you know, he's excited, you know, about it. And, uh, you know, without, uh, you know, Lambert, you know, those defensive ends will get, get some more time. I think you mentioned earlier today on um, one of your appearances about special teams being the difference in a game like this. Yeah. Uh, we saw last year, but how do you feel about your guys right now, considering there have been some struggles on kicking. Yeah, you know, at times we've been very good on special teams, and at times we, we've not. Um, you know, last year really came down to quite a few special teams plays, and uh, I feel like this one will be no different. So, you know, we're going to have to play well on special teams. Do you focus more on it this week? Uh, well, you get more time to focus on everything. So I'd say, uh, you know, because of the no school and everything that goes with that, you know, get more time. Who's oh, your uh, designated misfield field overturner? Um, we're still working through that. Yes, with, with Quan, you said obviously it's not acceptable. You can't fumble. What have y'all worked on, or have you done anything this week to maybe make sure that's not an issue come Saturday? Yeah, I mean we worked extremely hard on it and just tried to uh, put in those situations. And uh, you know, but like I said, it's towards the end of the season, and uh, you know, he's a senior. He needs to play well. Have you said anything to you about it? You know, in, in discussion, knowing that this is a game where if you had a situation like that again, you yeah. could be costly. You know, I've probably done most of the talking regarding that situation. When it comes to a missed field goal returner, how much do you guys even work on that during the season, or you just consider punt returns and things of that sort? Yeah, I mean, work? usually fall camp, you try to cover every situation. Throughout the year, different situations, you try to just, you know, to cover, make sure you're always prepared. You said you've obviously have wrinkles and you know a, a array of plays. Uh, 
what's the likelihood that we can see some things you've been saving up this week uh, for this game? Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to tell you that. <laughs> but it is a possibility that we do have some things we hadn't, hadn't shown. Because what, what is your feeling that by the time whatever ball game you guys go to rolls around, that maybe Whitaker would be helping us play in that? Yeah, I hope so. Like I said, he's been a lot to our program on and off the field, been a leader, so that would be good. Anything else? Hey, what's your favorite Thanksgiving dessert? Um, yeah, probably pecan pie. 